Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about Google Cloud IAM. Google Cloud Platform offers cloud identity and access management, which provides more granular access to specific Google Cloud Platform resources and prevents unwanted access to other resources. In this IAM, who has what access to which resources by setting IAM policies? Identity and access management policies grant specific roles to a user, giving the user certain permission. There are three commonly used member types that you may grant access to, and they are google account service account and google group in google account we have a single person with gmail account and service account it's not a personal account it's a machine level account and giving the permissions to virtual machines and google group the names talks about multiple people and it's a combination of google account and service account there are three types of roles in google cloud identity and access management one is primitive roles another one is predefined roles another one is custom roles in case of the primitive roles we'll be talk about owner editor and viewer so in primitive roles owner role plays it will be providing a full access to the resources so editor role provides edit access to resources and viewer role is nothing but read only access to the resources these three roles comes under the primitive roles umbrella now, second role is predefined role which provides granular access for a specific service and are managed by the google cloud platform for example i have a cloud storage bucket there i want to assign some roles nothing but a storage admin role cloud storage object admin role cloud storage object creator role cloud storage object viewer role means we are providing a access specific roles by the google cloud platform we are not providing only google cloud platform will be assigning these roles that is the reason they are calling as a predefined roles to a specific service this is only for cloud storage so if you want to apply the roles to bigquery we can apply like bigquery viewer bigquery editor bigquery admin bigquery user that is a predefined roles and last one is custom roles which provides a granular access according to a user specified list of permissions these custom roles not managed by the google cloud platform so we can create our own roles and assigning to the particular user now i'll be moving to the next slide that is use case here i have a two accounts one is gcp training hyderabad at the rate gmail.com and I have another account, GCP training hyd1 at the gmail.com. Now I am logging with GCP training hyd at the gmail.com as a owner. And I want to add the user into this particular GCP training hyd. Now I want to add the user GCP training hyd1 at the gmail and provide the project level viewer access. Project level your access how we can implement this use case 
will be going to the cloud platform environment here i have a two accounts can you please observe here one is the gcp training hyd at the gmail.com and gcp training hyd1 at the gmail.com first i am going to log in with gcp training hyd at the gmail cloud.com this is my cloud platform and here i am going to add the gcp training hyd1 by using the iam admin this is my project second project so can you please observe here here permissions for project second project here i am adding the role so i am adding the gcp training training hyd1 at the rate gmail.com and it is asking for select the role i am clicking here this is the project level we have a editor owner viewer these are the primitive roles editor owner viewer. now i am going to assign this particular user as a viewer role means read access to all the resources click save so adding the member member added to policy can you please observe here this particular guy is acting as a viewer role. Now, I want to log in with this GCP training HYD1. Click next. This is the now if you're observing here, he is able to access the second project can you please observe here so this is my existing project this is my second project is inherited from this particular user so now this particular second project contains the two instances can you please observe here this is my this computing and i have two instances two instances in gcp training hyd at the rate gmail.com so now it will be showing the two instances whatever the resources we have in the gcp training hyd i am able to see those resources so i am going there can you please observe here these these are the two instances these are the two instances now I want to create or modify something like that. What, what will happen? Can you please observe it? You don't have the permission to create an instance. You don't have your permissions to create an instance. Now, can you please observe here? Here, I can able to create. Why? Because this is my GCP training HYD at the gmail.com. So, this is the way we can create the roles to a another user by using the identity access management thank you guys thanks for watching my video if you want more updates on the google cloud platform please subscribe to my channel dwba at the videos thank you